Hi scholars, today we're going to be talking about the food plate. So we're going to be talking about um, different healthy things to eat and how we should be dividing up our food to make us be healthy. So let's go ahead and look at a paper that we're going to do together. And it is called dun, 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 food plate. And so what we are talking about are the different things that we should have on our food um, when we're eating to make sure that it is balanced and healthy and good for our bodies. So what I want us to do is, I'm trying to move this real quick, sorry. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and look at the first one and it says color each section with the color that it matches. So let's look at that first one. We're gonna get out a purple crayon and it says um, ham, turkey, and beans. So we're gonna go ahead and get out that purple crayon, ham, turkey, and beans. Well, that is a protein and protein is very important for your body. It's where we get a lot of our energy from. And that's gonna be our meats. So our fish, our ham, our beans. We're gonna color that part of our plate purple. The next color we're gonna get out is our orange one. And for our orange one, we're gonna color this crayon and it says cereal, rice, and bread. So when we're talking about cereal, rice, and bread, we're talking about grains, like the little red hen how she cut down the wheat and she made the bread, that's grains. So when we're eating, we should have protein, we should have grains, and then we're gonna get out our red crayon. And our red crayon says apples, bananas, and pears. So now we're gonna start talking about some fruit. Now fruit is good for your body. It's kind of nature's dessert, right? nature's dessert it's delicious sweet and yummy when we're eating we should have that protein we should have grains and a little bit of fruit now our next one we're going to get out that green crayon and the green crayon says carrots tomatoes pumpkins and asparagus do you know what that is those are vegetables so those are yummy, they keep our body strong and healthy. Um, we should always have a nice portion of veggies. And that last thing that we have, that we're gonna go ahead and color blue, is our dairy. So yogurt and cheese and milk. That is our dairy, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna color that blue. So these are our different food groups. We're gonna be talking more about this. So this is a nice introduction of our food groups. We have grains, protein, vegetables, fruit, and dairy. This is our color code in order to do this correct. So I wanna put this over here, and now I want you guys to look at our food group labels. So now it's showing us this is the pyramid of food. And so I want us to look and see, and let's look at what we should have the most of and the least of. So we have a lot of grains, G-R-A-I-N-S. And those grains are bread, and wheat and rice, pretzels, cereal, pasta. That's what we have the most of. Then when we look up here, what is this called? Do you remember fruit? F-R-U-I-T. And then we have our next one. And when we look at this, these are our vegetables. So we have V E G E T A. B L E S. Okay. Then up here, oh, we did this one. That was the last one. Milk. M I L K. Very good. And then we had our protein. P R O T E I N. And our last one are kind of our desserts and fats, right? T E S S. E-R-T-S. Even that we love it, this is what we should have the least of. So say with me again, grains, fruit, vegetables, 
protein, milk, and desserts. If you have extra time, you can color both of these sheets and don't forget to submit them. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Happy eating!